Time for some color. Hi everybody and welcome back to Plastic Models by Regular Dude and part number five of the AMT Ertl 148 scale P40F Warhawk. In the last episode we left off with paint. I painted the gray underneath and the other color on top which I don't remember what it's called. I uh, also got the um, spinner painted, the drop tank, prop, bombs are over there and this. So now I need to start doing some detail painting like the exhaust, the machine guns, um, landing gear, hubs, tires, all that. So let's get that stuff out and start. All right, the first thing is going to be to do the exhaust. And for that, I am going to use Vallejo Acrylic Metal Color Airbrush Colors Burnt Iron. And yes, I know it says airbrush colors but they also brush paint pretty well I could tape all that off and spray it but you know what I don't feel like it so I'm gonna use a brush so using one of my specially marked brushes for metallics I will begin All right, next up is I'm going to do the machine guns. And for that, I'm gonna mix uh, some Vallejo Acrylic Metal Color Steel and some AK third generation acrylic modeling color, rubber black, to make it a little bit darker than just the, uh, just the steel. So let's drop some in here and see. What we can come up with. Now, some of you may be looking at this kit from above and noticing that the canopy looks kind of wonky. Well, it does look wonky. It seems to be shifted that way some and uh, it seems to be flared out a little bit. And I'm kind of, kind of bummed about that, but. That's the way it's going to stay. Remember, this is a um, project that is kind of a test bed for future projects of great similarity. And I'll know better what to pay attention to next time. And part of it has to do with my lighting is just kind of weird, especially in the evenings when it's just the light. And I don't have any of my ambient light coming from this direction from the window. And uh, it just looks not spectacular. So it's kind of hard to see things. And, you know, I just kind of, I, I just did not notice that or else it slipped or something. I don't know. But anyway, it is that way and it shall stay. Once it gets all done and complete, it shouldn't be too bad, but no better for next time okay so here we go so i think i'm gonna start on the bottom because i need to be careful not to break that antenna off but this color is the rubber black with just a little bit of the airbrush color steel All right, so now I'm ready to paint the landing gear. And for that, I'm gonna be using Vallejo Metal Color Airbrush Color Silver. I'm gonna use the landing gear legs and the uh, hubs.
Okay, I think that pretty much finishes up the detail painting I need to do. Now I haven't done the, the tires because I'm gonna save that for the very last thing because I wanna be able to put the decals on, put a clear coat to blend the decals in, and then paint the, the tires because I want those to be as flat as possible. So with that, I'm ready to move on to decals. So let's get the decals out. Get all my equipment set up. All right, we got the first decal here. Um, I've already put it in the uh, water and got it loosened up. So now I just need to put it in place. So for that, I'm going to use this Tester's Decal Setting Solution. I don't know how well you'll be able to see what I'm doing because I'm kind of over to the side here. A little weird angle. Maybe kind of darkish, but you'll get the idea. So I have that on there. Then the decal. Slide it off a little bit. Put it in position. Hold it slide the backing off and then hopefully straighten it up there we go yeah oh wow, that's beautiful okay that looks pretty good then use a moistened Q-tip there like that, and then apply a little bit more of this over top per the instructions, and then let it sit and see what happens. Move on with the rest of the decals. So, seen how I've done it? We'll do the rest off camera. Okay, so all the decals are in place. Um, I have uh, used a sharp exacto knife hobby knife whatever you want to call it and i sliced all of the oh man it's already working great um sliced the panel lines into the decals and then used uh some solva set and it looks like they're going to settle in really good because this one i i mean i just barely did it not 15 20 seconds ago just long enough to turn my camera back on and it's already settling into the panel lines. So while that is drying, I wanna let it dry really good before I see if I have to put any more, I can assemble this, the uh, what you call propeller here. And uh, let me test fit this. I want to test fit the propeller onto the the uh, propeller shaft because I don't want it to get jammed up or anything. All right, so okay, there's a on this propeller. There's a large size and a small side. Uh, the larger side is obviously the one that needs to go inwards. So put that there like that let's see how that fits I did test fit all this stuff uh, beforehand but uh, I like to whoops test fit it again yeah <laughs> didn't even think about that these things need to be read as well so what a buffoon I am. So I'm going to have to spray that real quick. And yes, I'm going to spray it. I'm not going to do it with a paintbrush. Uh, because I want it to look exactly the same. So. Let me get one of these here. Things. And uh, I'll spray that and come back. 
Okay, got to glue together. So set it aside to dry. Almost forgot I need to paint that cap there red, which I'm not really for sure it's supposed to be red, but that's what I'm going to do. I think since I just mixed this up, I'll just use this. I'm going to cheat. All right, while this uh, decal, the solvent set is doing its thing a couple more things i need to take care of namely these lights there's a few lights i need to do so using my Vallejo silver I'm going to attempt i know these aren't supposed to be silver so Everybody just relax. That's just going to be the base for the uh, <clears throat> to me a clear that I'm going to put on it. Okay, so we got that, and then we have these here. Lastly, but not leastly, this one here. Like that. Okay, <clears throat> the decals are done. All the detail painting is done. The only thing left to do is to paint these tires, but as I said, I'm going to do those after I do my clear coat, which is what I'm going to do now. And for that, I'm going to be using Model Master Acryl Semi Gloss. Semi Gloss, as I've said in earlier videos, is my preferred um, clear of choice for aircraft. Now, this, <laughs> this thing looks really horrible. I think I may try and pop that off and see if I can't straighten it up before I get too far with the clear coat. Yeah, that thing's stuck on there pretty good. So we're just going to chalk that one up as something to really pay attention to on the next P40 build that I do of this kit. So, yeah, it looks pretty horrible, but, um, yeah, chalk it up to learning stuff, I guess. All right, with that done, I can now work on some pin washes. So... For the bottom, I'm going to use, I'm going to try uh, PLW Panel Line Wash Deep Gray by Ammo by MIG. All right, you can see that this side here has been done and it was very, very simple. I know I've talked about this stuff ad nauseum, but I really, I don't know what they do with uh, panel line wash from uh, Ammo by MIG, but you can put this stuff on and come back much later and wipe off the excess without having to use um, thinner or anything like that. You can just use just a dry Q-tip. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just I had a cup of coffee here a little while ago, so seems to be giving me a little bit of the shakes. So I'm just putting it in all this. Normally you can just touch it and it'll 
seep through pretty good, but since I use a semi-gloss right off, right off the bat, um, it's not flowing as smoothly and it's not necessary to just do it that way. I can run it like this and uh, it'll be just fine. So I am going to go over all the details on the bottom using the PLW, the, I don't know why I keep saying that, panel line wash deep gray. And uh, then once I get it all done, we'll come back and take a look. All right, for the upper <clears throat> surfaces, I'm going to use brown wash for German dark yellow. So, let's see how that works. All right, the next thing I need to do is I need to glue this um, landing light or whatever it is in place underneath the wing, and then I need to paint these wingtip lights. And it looks like this one's red, and that one is green. So, okay, got the light in, got the uh, lights painted. Um, I don't see anything about lights underneath, so I may have to check into that. But right now I'm going to paint the tires, and for that I'm going to use AK Rubber Black, AK third generation Rubber Black. And there you have it. Tires are painted. So next I need to glue the bombs and the um, drop tank on. Drop tanks in place and now the bombs. Hopefully. There we go. So I'm going to use a little bit of gel super glue do this off camera because I don't want to get my head in the way alright so those are in place so now I just need to decide what I have left to do um, I think once this dries these parts I think I'm gonna do a little bit of exhaust staining but that is the only thing that even could be considered weathering that I'm going to do on this on this kit. I was building this one clean as I said from the get-go so uh, yeah let that stuff dry and then we'll come back and do a little bit of exhaust staining. So I didn't video it but I used this uh, to me a weathering master soot with a small makeup brush did some exhaust streaking so now, I think, really the only thing left to do 
Let's get the masks off. So let us do that. All right, the masking is off, and uh, for the most part, I'm stoked, except for the fact there's a big old sliver of plastic inside of there on the dashboard, and the where the sprue is attached is pretty gnarly looking. But uh, yeah, that looks okay. It'll work, especially for what I'm trying to accomplish with this particular kit. So I think that is it. So wins part five of the AMT Ertl 148 scale P40F Warhawk. So in the next episode, I will do my final wrap up and I will uh, discuss the kit and a quick slideshow. So that's it for now. So as always, thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude and I will see you all later.